I don't know how to say this, but I've just unboxed Cool Hand Luke. And I didn't record the overhead. I really should have double checked. I probably rushed it, but I am sorry about this. So this is going to be my quick run through. This is number two of the iconic moments. I know it's already unboxed, but I, honest to God, I forgot to hit the record on that one. So to make up for it, I'm just re-recording this bit. It's not going to be as much fun, but I am sorry. It wasn't my fault. I, 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 bl I blame David. He's not here right now, but I'm blaming him. I could always get him to reseal it, but I don't have the time and I can't be bothered to wake him up now to say, David, would you mind reseeing this DVD? He probably just kicked the shit out of me because I just like broke through his window. But anyhow, I just want to show you what the lovely slip cover they got here. Very different than the actual artwork on the actual DVD itself. And on the back as well, you would see a huge change that you obviously see the um, iconic moments borderline with the number two bit and it features the most iconic moments in film history from Warner Bros themselves. What I do like is the few, like how they pick the um, display pictures to be on the back compared to the actual DVD one you get. There isn't really images from the film to glance at. All you see is the three men standing around, well two men standing, one man crouching, which is obviously the image right here. But at the same time, there wasn't really much to go on. Because when I look at DVDs that I've never actually seen before, like I've never actually seen this film, I like to actually look at the back so that I get a clear image of what it's going to be, whether it's going to be good, whether it's going to be bad. Yes, I could read about it, but 9 times out of 10, the stuff you read on the back isn't really a clear description of what the film is. Like There's so many critics out there that can agree with me that when they see a film, like when they see a trailer, that's not the clear picture of what the actual film is and when you actually see the film it's going to be 10 times worse because you're disappointed how they made the trailer look so good or in this instance the um, description on the back and then you go to watch it and you're like I was lied to and that's what they do they make it sound so good and then when you get to go see it it's a load of rubbish so cool a cool hand Luke is definitely on my agenda to watch this but I am terribly sorry that you won't be able to see the unboxing video of this one so instead you have to do this ridiculous catch up i hope you guys enjoyed this video please move a like if you're new to the channel please make to subscribe to keep up with new videos if you haven't already make sure you turn on post notifications you can do that after you subscribe and tick that bell and what that does is keep you updated with new videos that i post on my channel my video schedules are monday tuesday and sundays at 10 a.m you can find it in my channel bio and for more information, you can leave comments on the recent videos and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Also check out my Twitter and Facebook fan page because I'm always there replying back to people who actually need help or want to talk and discuss and all that. But yeah, I'll see you next time. But until then, you guys take care and I do apologise for this fuck up. It's totally my responsibility and not your guys. So I, I am sorry.